Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today is actually the same day I was out at Topaz, which was the previous video, and today we are also visiting the Drum Mountain Agate area. Now, normally people park up there, but we were finding better stuff over here, so we're gonna go for this spot over here. So, we decided to go ahead and park down here. You're welcome, Trevor. <laughs> So yeah, finger. we're gonna go see what we can find today up here looking for some agates and jaspers Whatever whatever we feel like keeping Tim's just showing a nice little piece here that he found it's got a little bit of Variation in it some nice stuff and let's get at it. All right now. We're up on the hill This is the first one. I've found that's decent It's got some nice banding right there so you got the jasper, a little bit of agate, and then the quartz in the middle. Nice. I'll keep that one. We're almost to the zone where we were finding the better stuff last time, so we'll see what we see. So I found this piece. It has a little bit of orange agate to it. That's nice. I wish it was bigger, though. How are you guys doing? Oh, it's got some... Uh, crystal pockets through that one. There's a lot of jasper here though. A lot of jasper. So Tim's got a nice little uh, area of coloration going through that one. This one had a little bit right on the edge. I don't know, should I keep it? Um, That's up to you. I probably wouldn't do anything with it. But... It's got a little bit of shiny right there. Yep. I was just looking at that one too. Might have to dig that one out. Okay. Oh, this one looks good. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Look at that one. That's beautiful. Oh, look right in front of you. Oh, there's that. See, now it's getting much better. Oh, I like this one. I think I'll keep that one. Uh, we need to spray that one off. Yeah, we do. All right, spray some things off. Oh, that's awesome. Nice one. And I think I see one hiding under the bush right here. Oh, and right next. Oh, yes. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at that one. Ooh, spray that one off. It's got the black. Oh, look at that. It's got black webbing in it. It's got black webbing all over. Yeah, look at that thing. It's got some red webbing too. See the red? Yeah, that is a nice piece. That's a keeper. Thanks, Jim. Well, you're kind of letting me put stuff in there. This so. is nice too, but I think That's I've got to be very careful about what. I... <laughs> Look at this. Yep. Oh no, Tim! Why did I have to see that? And that. Wow. Don't leave your. Oh. And there's Tim putting another one. See the quality? It's just. Look at that. Fantastic. Look at all that. Oh, it's got some more of the black webbing in it. So the last time my dad and I were here, this is the stuff we had found and we picked through what we thought was the best. You can still see pieces all through here. There's just so much here. Little bits everywhere. Well, little bits and big boulders. See? Beautiful. It's just everywhere. Everyone feast your eyes. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I got this stuff in here. What do you think of this stuff? Nice. <laughs> hey, this one's better, bro. <laughs> All over. This one's a lot better. Ready? <laughs> but yeah, right there and there and then over here. It's just so nice. Such a nice, beautiful. I'll be able to get it out, but. Yeah, I get. 
and we're back from the Drum Mountains and Topaz Mountain. Because that was two locations in the same day, we spent most of our time at Topaz and just in like an hour, hour and a half at the Drum Mountains. So that's why this video is gonna be a bit shorter, but we still got some great stuff. So I went ahead and washed off everything that I got and I went through it and there's some really nice agates and uh, jaspers I need to show you. So let's take a look at them. Here's the first piece. So we got kind of this nice jasper down here, a little bit of black, some black dots going through it almost, probably, they're probably small dendrites. And you've got this nice quartz druzy on the top. So nice quartz crystal. So yeah, you can find a lot of quartz crystals out there in the kind of a druzy, these small crystals all over. But these are rather large. Most of the time they're uh, quite a bit smaller. A lot of the pieces I kept are like this, where you've got this nice jasper running into the agate. So the agate is mostly colorless, but you do get some banding. And they're quite translucent, so they let a lot of light through. So that's one thing I really like about them. So one of the better things to find out there, if you can get it, is you can get these little bands of red that will sometimes occur in the agate. And those are really nice if you can get those. Yeah, look at that side. Some nice red there. This was a neat little piece. So you got that little bit of agate there and you got some really nice patterns all through it. Beautiful stuff. I got a little bit of quartz right there. This one was a really neat piece. He had this, these nice colors down here, kind of a pink, orange, and then the agate here. And on this side was really neat too. Nice little splotch right in the middle, surrounded by the agate. This is some more of that nice agate. This was a thicker agate on top of the jasper, at least on that side. I wonder if you could cut these just like that. Um, so where there's just a thin layer of this on top of the jasper. I wonder how that would look. Maybe I need to get a bunch of pieces in try it. This one was really neat. Had some nice agate going all through the rock. You can see it looks like a kind of a brecciated jasper filled in with agate. And you got some nice black dendrites going through it. And this side was really nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. This is a larger piece. Not the best colors, but the patterns were really nice. I like the patterns. Nice. Another one with really nice patterns. And this one, the colors are a little better. The best part of it though is right here. So you've got this nice agatized area in the Jasper. Very nice stuff. This one had some nice color and quite a few different patterns going throughout it. So you got this, which is kind of like some of the other stuff, but then down here, you got other things going on all together. Yeah, it looks like this side's kind of nice, but this is the best side here. I like this one a lot. Some nice patterns and colors all through there. You got the dendrites going on. Got grass all over my fingers. Oh yeah, look at some nice agate right there. Yeah, this is a nice piece. Here's the final piece. It had a beautiful zone of agate right up at the top. Look at all those bands. Look at all those layers in there. That is nice. And you got this cool jasper down here. And I'm going to need to uh, 
put this in some acid. Look at that. That's all calcite, so that should all come off with the acid. So I'm going to have to give this one an acid bath so we can see what it looks like on this side. Although I'm pretty sure it's going to look very similar to this side. Very nice. So there you have the things that we found on that trip, or at least the ones I kept. And those were pretty nice, weren't they? After just being there like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and just walking around, that's what we picked up, and it's beautiful stuff. That stuff is all over that hill. It's a wonderful location. I highly recommend you go out there because there's plenty of material for everyone, and it doesn't disappoint. So it's a wonderful location. I hope you get out there. And remember, there is treasure everywhere.